Well, Mary, today's experts who testified really highlighted the need for a complete overhaul of the safety culture at Boeing, urging federal lawmakers to implement a list of more than 50 recommendations. Boeing concealment led to two crashes and 346 deaths. Experts testifying in front of a Senate committee say repeated issues within Boeing's safety culture have brought the company to where it is today, facing numerous lawsuits and under a probe from the Department of Justice. Boeing intentionally hid the design from FAA engineers and airline pilots. Had we known at least a half dozen experienced FAA engineers in Seattle in the Seattle office would have immediately rejected the original MCAS design. A former Boeing employee also testified on today's panel, saying for too long, Boeing has dictated to the FAA what they're willing to do and accept. But it needs to be the other way around, with the FAA doing their job and acting as a regulator. Boeing has a culture where they are putting profits ahead of safety. The company is focused on stock prices instead of engineering excellence. The irony is, if Boeing returns to a culture of engineering excellence, the profits will follow. Mark Lindquist is representing nearly 30 passengers on the Alaska Airlines flight where a door plug flew off the plane while in flight. And he's represented victims' families in the MAX 8 crashes. 346 people died in the two MAX 8 crashes. Boeing was prosecuted by the Department of Justice. After that, Boeing promised the DOJ Boeing really promised the world that they were going to get their act together, and they have not. And Boeing today said in a statement in response to the testimony, under FAA oversight, we have painstakingly inspected and reworked airplanes and improved production quality to meet exacting standards. We are fully confident in the safety and durability of the 787 Dreamliner. Now, the company also went on to say that they have done extensive and rigorous testing as well as heavy maintenance on hundreds of their airplanes and found zero evidence of the airframe fatigue issues mentioned in today's testimony. Reporting live in Seattle, Lynn Ann Wynn, Colonies.